Hey YouTube, welcome back to another Minecraft video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you a redstone tutorial. So this redstone tutorial is on an item frame combination lock. So as you can see, the redstone is very simple. And um, so as you can see, I don't have my correct combination. So the under is closed. If I put in my combination, which is this, the iron door will open. So that's how simple it is. Let me show you guys how to build it. So the builds you're gonna need for this, I mean the blocks you're gonna need for this build are a block of choice, I'm gonna be using iron, redstone dust, redstone repeater, redstone comparator, an iron door, lime concrete and red concrete. You don't need those, but that's just gonna help me show you guys what you have to do. An item frame, your item of choice, I'm gonna be using an arrow just so it's easy to see where it's facing. If you can use a potato or a cookie, which will make it a lot harder. And then a redstone torch. So you're gonna start things off by doing this. So create a three by three grid, place an item frame, expand two rows upon that, place an item frame, expand two rows, place an item frame, and then come out like that, that's where gonna be your iron door is. And then before you do that, place your iron door right here. You'll see why after. So what you're going to do is place your items in your item frame and select your combination. I'm going to be using the same one I used for the demonstration over there, which is this. So just set your combination right now where you want them facing, come to the back, and where each item frame would be on the other side, place a block of iron down. Then place on each or blocks of iron. They should light up. If they're not, they're not in the same spot as the item frame on the other side. Run that up into a bunch of green blocks coming out like this. The number doesn't matter. Then place redstone dust all along them. And look, oh, and look where the redstone dust expires, like where it doesn't have power. How do you know? Well, it's completely dark and there's not particles. So as you can see, this might look like it's not on, but there it is, because it's a bit red, and as you see, there's particles. So if it fills all the way to the thing, you need to expand more. And as you can see, this is where the redstone stops turning on so we can get rid of those blocks now let's do it with this one oops and it's right here so we can get rid of this and then lastly this one which is right here so next what we're going to do is we're going to come out with a red concrete block on each of the ends then on your last green block, I'm going to get you to take out your redstone torch and place it there. It should turn off. Now, you're going to place another redstone dust on each of those red concrete blocks. They should turn off. Come out with an iron block or whatever block you want, like that. Take a repeater coming out from this. Put another iron block in front of each of them. Put redstone dust. Then what you're going to do, you're gonna bring your redstone dust down and put it going in front of the torch like that. So put your redstone dust until it goes in front of the torch. That way, if the signal strength from this is too high or too low, the redstone torch will turn on, powering this, which will make your iron door unpower, but I'll get to that later. So now what you're going to do, it's very simple. Just connect up your three, your three redstone dust lines. So I'm going to do mine there, there, and there. So I told you to place down the iron door like this, which is because you're gonna run this redstone into this iron block. Now, as you can see, all your torches are off right now because you have the correct amount of of redstone dust. 
So what it's doing is it powering this block, and even though this iron door isn't technically touching the block, it's that block is still powering it. So if the block were powered, the iron door would close, but since we put it down this way, it'd be opening. So it depends on how you look at it if you want it to, if you think it's open and closed. But uh so as you can see if we change one thing about the combination. Just a sec I must have Oh right, don't forget to connect this one too. So as you can see, if we change one thing about the combination the iron door will shut or open going this way because we powered this block which opens it. So then if we mess it up, nothing happens. But if we put in our correct combination, it will open. So that was a simple item frame combination lock. By the way, you can expand this all you want, however many iron, however many iron, I mean not iron, how many, however many item frames you want. But just make sure that the signal strength connecting these redstone lines does not expire. And if it passes 15, then you need to, of course, add a repeater. So that was that. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss an upload. Like the video if you really did like it. If you loved it, make sure to subscribe. That's said the Epic Gamer. I'll see you in another episode.